7.8 solving problems using quadratic models basically this is just throwing everything that you've learned together and you're going to be solving some problems involving quadratic functions and parabolas here are some tips a function a graph or a table of values can represent a relation use the form that is most helpful for the context of the problem depending on the information that's given you can use a quadratic function in vertex form or in standard form to model the situation. You need to know that a problem may only have one uh, admissible solution. It may only have one solution that makes sense, even though the quadratic equation that is used to represent the problem has two real solutions. When you solve a quadratic equation, verify that your solutions make sense in the context of the problem. For example, we can't have negative time. If you're throwing a basketball, it can't go underground, that kind of thing. So you're just going to need to think about these a little bit.